you. It's your boy Fly, man. A little moment with Fly. The whole industry, the internet, everything going crazy right now with Takashi snitching, talking to business, talking to whatever's you dig, dropping, dropping names, putting everybody business out there. Typical chatty patty type shit. But hearing 50, like, put out Jim Jones, the little, you know, post on his Instagram. Got the in, got the internet going crazy, calling Jimmy a rat. But, like, sometimes, you know, sometimes you got to step back and look at things. Sometimes you got to stop with that mob behavior and that mob mentality because it, it really don't get you nowhere but assumptions, you know. And assumptions make an ass out of you. And me. I'm seeing everybody say, yo, Jim Jones is an informant and running with the narrative and running for the clickbait and everything. But sometimes you just got to think to yourself, how is Jim Jones an informant? Because some alleged person put out some some little blurb, whatever you want to call it, and 50 ran with it. No proven facts, nothing on paperwork, nothing on black and white. Only rats, only people who have done crimes and try to hide and say paperwork doesn't matter. Paperwork always matters because without paperwork, you can't be proven guilty, you know what I'm saying, or innocent. So paperwork matters. It's just foolishness what I'm hearing people talk about. But have y'all ever just thought to yourself that maybe Mel Murder's fucking phone was tapped, that the fed, that the feds tapped his phone? It's really not hard to put one and one to make two. It's just logical common sense if you just take the time to think about it. But like I said, narratives are being played and people are running with a whole lot of whatevers and whatevers. But Mel Murder has a conversation with Shadi on the phone. Why nobody says Shadi's bugged? Why is Shadi not a snitch? Sometimes narratives, like I said, get played bigger than what they are. But he's on the phone, with, Mel Murder's on the phone with Shadi. They're having a conversation about what they should do. The TMZ and going to TMZ and yada yada. And then everybody should pull up. Y'all ever think, once again, I'm going to reiterate that Mel Murder's phone was tapped. Let's say 20, 30 minutes, a day later, he calls Jim Jones. And says, yo, such and such is about to go down, but we about to go on TMZ. Y'all hear Jim Jones repeatedly say, nah, we, you ain't going to do that. Shoddy got to fix that. That's Shoddy's business, right? So where is the narrative of Jim Jones snitching? Where is this Jim Jones as an informant? I don't know if it's the love and hip hop playing this narrative. I don't know. But at the end of the day, like, that mob mentality just got to stop. Like, and sometimes, like, the YouTubers got to stop pushing agendas and whatever for the clickbait and make y'all get riled up without actually paying attention to this, to sense. It's a superseding in, indictment. That means for everybody Takashi name, everybody's going to be like watched. So how is Jim Jones once again an informant? And then people start bringing up, yo, everybody saying informant, 50 is an informant. As far as it comes to 50 Cent, bruh, Supreme even said 50 had nothing to do with it. Some niggas recorded the shit and got Prem jammed up. Even when it comes to uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Hench, once again, his dealings with narcotics got him jammed up but like i said y'all paint narratives i can't speak on whatever happened with that situation with the ink but like y'all be running with these narratives a little bit too much it's your boy fly you know what i'm saying just giving y'all a little moment of clarity you know we like to perceive perceive people to be guilty you know what i'm saying before innocent the narrative change it used to be innocent before you know, proven innocent before guilty, but now it's 
prove you're guilty, prove your innocence and shit. But this whole shit got New York in a frenzy, checking everybody's background checks, which it should have been happening from the jump. You know what I'm saying? Everybody stop listening to the message and start listening. You know what I'm saying? Who's painting these pictures? You know what I'm saying? Who's who's writing these books? You know what I'm saying? Pay attention to the author. You know what I mean? But it's your boy Fly. I might just throw the little, you know what I'm saying? The Mel Matrix combo and Jim Jones and make y'all play like, see what I mean? It's your boy Fly. Fly on, baby. He definitely, he definitely, he definitely is nearly getting shot right now, but. Crazy, bro. 
<laughs> woke up this morning, blood. You know, I be sleeping. I woke up, I seen that shit, blood. I said, oh man, son. I said, why is why is this kid doing this, man? Why is this kid like who's who's in this kid ear scrap? Like who's like making him smoke? <laughs> he talking? Fuck, ain't fucking nobody. Blood, blood, right blood. The nigga gotta be on drugs. Homie, nigga said fuck Treyway. He said fuck Treyway. Bum ass niggas, dirty ass niggas. He said what? what, what, what Apple huh? Apple uh, hello? What what you say? He said fuck Treyway. Niggas some bum ass niggas. Niggas is dirty niggas. Niggas is thieves. Like, ain't no Treyway. Like, ain't no more Treyway. Niggas like, I made that shit. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like, yo, what the fuck? Like, oh, your shirt, um, I said, I, I, said, I got to go call this nigga. Hey, man, I, I, I need some type of like, this, like I, this kid is crazy, homie. Like, surely all the way lost it, homie. I don't know what kind of pills he's taking or what he's on, Scott. But the kid losing it, homie. Yeah, he he gonna give us he gonna give us coming. He being real disrespectful, homie. Like, facts. My nigga, niggas done. My nigga he took their soul out and put it on a on a hanger and hung it up in the closet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? You, you fuck fuck niggas, boy. That's how you feel. Like, you don't really feel like you could pull up on niggas and have a conversation? You gonna go social media with it? Yeah, he gonna get what he, he looking for. I'm telling you, bro. He gonna get what he just chose. I, I feel kind of depressed right now. I feel like, I feel like, so what a nigga, what a, what a, what a nigga go, like, homie, we ain't, homie, I ain't, I ain't with the God giving God take away. I ain't. But son, nobody can't take none away. That's all. That's what you got to keep. Yo, boy, he's a fucking but rapper. He ain't had the nigga get take the trayway shit, but the nigga assassinate in the brand, scrap. He get a cat, yo, bro. He get assassinate all he want. I ain't say nothing yet, blood. Like I'm gonna get him back all the say so, scrap. I'm telling niggas like Powell, what's so I'm waiting to see everything he got to say. See that, let that shit go, and then that's it. You, you said know what I'm saying? To say what? Hear what he got to say, and right. then I'm gonna, I'm gonna start firing on everything, like. I got all, I got all of that, nigga. Like, come on, bro. Yeah, man. Well, well, make sure make sure you call me for the activities and festivities. Yeah, that's Monday. We're gonna um on Monday. Teams already got a, you know they got some shit set up for me. So Monday they wanna film. Yeah. I'm at everybody, me, me, you, Crippy homies, everybody on camera. We in the room smoking regular shit. <laughs> like, hey. you, know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm coming. I'm gonna be there for that. I, I feel, I, I feel, I feel, I feel blocked for this man. Yeah. I don't know who this kid that he's talking to. You didn't create Treyway, we created you. You was a mutt. We bounced you on this <laughs> and we put, we put, we put a muzzle on you, and, and we showed you how to be a dog, nigga. You was a mutt. You don't know nothing about this lifestyle that you that you put perpetrated. But you know, come on, Scott. We gave you, we we, we made you who you was, so you could so you could help us in our situation, nigga. Uh, so Swap it out. Don't try to act like it wasn't an even exchange. We gave you life, and you gave and you introduced us to the bag more than what we was, nigga. That's it, nigga. But you ain't make Treyway scrap. We made you. You wouldn't be shit without Trey. Matter of fact, straight up, you better be able to handle all that that drama you gonna cause too. Cause we good out here in these streets, nigga. What about you? Right. You, nigga, like you talking, and then you dry snitching. You talking about, I knew my team was strong. I knew my team was strong. So what I'm trying to say is, I, that's why I was acting the way I was acting. That's why I was talking all the shit I was talking because I knew my team was strong. He like, but you know, at the end of the day, I knew when I got got, it had to be niggas around me because my team was too strong for niggas to be outside of like basically like he dry snitching, bro. Right. I'm like, yo, suck this nigga. The homie locked up. Is this what you saying on camera? Right. You know what he's doing. Yeah, he's trying to drive this nigga. He know he know what he's doing. He know he's but, trying to do. My nigga's threatening his family, telling people where he live at. Like, if he don't want to do the shows, nigga, the promoters is telling nigga where he live at to try to get people to do something to his moms, homie. <laughs> he said all that? No, nah, that's it all on Tim Weiss, right? I said this kid is crazy, son. And then remember when me and you this is two twelve and you just told me the other day, like yes, about the paper, about reframing from twelve with the boy. So I'm like, oh boy playing like this is what he trying to do. Boy playing dirty, mm -hmm. man. He trying to dry snitch at the same time, homie. 
But he keeps saying, fuck Trey Wee. Fuck that nigga Trey Wee. Fuck Trey Wee. Ain't no Trey Wee. Fuck Trey Wee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to feed him, though. They got the fucking shit right there. Yo, yeah, bro, where you going? Man, you got to, you know, I, I don't want to choke you phone, homie. You got to meet up and choke. Nah, I'll, I'll tell you, I'm going to pull up on you. All right. Hey, that shit no more. Yo, we, I got to go silly later on. You mom with me? I'll go with you, nigga. I don't want to fuck. Nah, I'm, I'm going to come get you. As soon as I leave here, I'm coming straight down to Brooklyn and come get you. All right. So be dressed or something. You know what I mean? Be dressed for the day, touch it. All right. All right.